don't beat the Yankees tonight, it's going to be another long, cold winter in Red Sox Nation. Why does God hate us? What have we done? We're down three games to nothing and losing two to one. Where's the God of mercy? This one taunts and mocks. And how do we lift the curse? You might think we're at Fenway Park back in 2004, still lamenting that the Red Sox haven't won a World Series in 86 years because of the curse of the Bambino. Actually, we're at the American Repertory Theater's world premiere of Johnny Baseball, a new musical that offers a whole new in-depth take on The Curse. Stephanie, what is Johnny Baseball about to you? Johnny Baseball to me is about a love story between two people, um, very Romeo and Juliet-esque. You know, they're different groups of people, they do not want them to be together, um, so they're, they're having to fight against that. And we find, come to find out at the, end of this, at the end of the show, love conquers all. One more run! And I'm cutting out the drink! <laughs> One more run! Colonoscopy to me! Rick, this is a very clever story. Where on earth did you come up with an idea to make a musical out of the curse? I grew up in Worcester as a Red Sox fan. I'm no stranger to tragedy. So this story was born out of tragedy in 2003 when Aaron Boone hit that home run yeah. that ended it all. And uh, I was watching with my son. One of us was in tears. I'm not going to say which one. And uh, Willie was actually at the game with five Red Sox fans who, even when we were ahead, were convinced that we were gonna lose, and of course, they were right. And uh, we talked the next day, and it just seemed there was so much passion in the rooting for the Red Sox that there had to be a musical in there someplace. So Rick, what does the curse mean to you? Uh, what it means to, to me is, uh, is telling the truth about the history of the Red Sox. Uh, growing up, there was this comforting myth that selling Babe Ruth to the Yankees in 1920 is what caused 86 years of misery. Mm -hmm. You dig a little bit deeper and you see that it's a story of institutional racism, which is not unique to the Red Sox by any means, but it was a chance to tell a story of where the country's been over the last mm -hmm. and ever since 1920. So um, to me, it is uh, what is at the core of what went wrong with the Red Sox. My take on the curse is that they sold Babe Ruth or something 125 years ago or whatever it was, and then they can't win, except that they seem to be winning all the time. And I'm originally from Chicago, and we really have a curse, and we really never win. So I don't know what Boston's complaining about. <laughs> My take on the curse was that it was all in our heads and that we made it Worse and worse and worse as years went by. I think the curse was selling Babe Ruth to the Yankees. Hey, I think the curse of the Red Sox is uh, not being uh, in France. I think the curse of the Red Sox and the Yankees was one of the biggest stories in New England. It was the piano in the lake. It's because I got pregnant in high school. Twice. Ma? No, no. it's his fault. Seven years of dating and he won't marry you. Oh, I told you I'll marry you when the curse is over. Ah, it was her fault. What? She divorced me and took one of my seats. These were my grandfather's seats. Yeah, well, if you ever would have made any money, I'd have took that instead. <laughs> no, no, no. It was no, no, Nanette. I hate musicals. Well, that was clean. How about 1986? No! no! Stephanie, you did a great job on the show. You. you were studying at the Boston Conservatory right around the time that the curse was lifted. Yes. You have memories of Boston back then? Oh, yes. It was 2004. I remember it so well. When they won, I stepped outside of my dorm room um, <laughs> and because I heard, like, all this crowd. And yeah. Oh, yeah. And I was like, what is that? So I stepped outside. Literally, there was a wave of people coming down the street. I was in my pajamas and my slippers. Got swept away in this wave. Oh God! Carried all the way to Fenway Park <laughs> oh, with it. like all these college students, and they're just like going crazy, and I'm just in the middle. There's no turning around. We take it seriously here. It, I mean, this is my first year here too, nuts. so know. you know. So I'm like, like oh my gosh, are crazy. what are these people doing? Exactly. Harry, I'm in Detroit on a telephone. The kid just threw a no hitter. Yeah, the papers out here are calling him Johnny Baseball. I'm telling you, it don't matter that Babe Ruth won't pitch anymore. We can ride this kid straight to the series.